the key to successful inter intervention are one, sens sensible, informed adults, like all of you guys at the end of this presentation. Or maybe before the presentation and you got some of your beliefs and knowledge reinforced, I hope so. The mom says, pace yourself, honey. You're only three. Let's slow it down for kids. When we have the ability to control the environment to allow kids to more, be more successful and not overwhelmed, let's do it. We also have to use strategies that reduce the fear factor. In my book, Nowhere to Hide, I spend some time talking about taking kids from stress to de-stress. And it, it's a model for change that is, to me, very simple. Uh, I've given you a reference on the resource that I'll tell you about at the end, and you can find this model in that uh, resource. But essentially, it means help kids understand. We, we, first of all, have to understand the condition. If one parent thinks the kid has ADHD and the other parent doesn't think that's true, that's a problem. If we think the kid has ADHD but nobody's confirmed it, that's a problem. If we think the kid has ADHD but your parents don't think so, that's a problem. So we first have to understand the condition. We have to teach the child about the condition and the impact of the condition. And you can do that from an early age. You don't always have to use the word ADHD or use the term disability, but kids have to know that there is something different about them that makes their brains respond in this way. That's just the truth of the matter. We have to speculate. We have to look ahead. We have to look at the kid's strengths and weaknesses before she approaches a task. We have to think about that rhinoceros and say, what does this animal have that will allow it to be successful? And we have to say, what are the liabilities? What are the problems that this animal has that might make it more difficult? Because if we understand those, we can use the strength and we can minimize the weaknesses or work around them. We have to learn strategies and teach children strategies that help them maximize their success. We can't let them continue to practice failure over and over and over again, saying, keep at it, you'll get better. It's just maybe not true. We have to reduce the threat. If a page full of printed words is threatening to a kid, we have to put two or three words on a page. If the bridge over that chasm is too threatening, we have to make the chasm smaller. We have to put the bridge on dry land. If a math worksheet with 40 problems on is threatening, we have to cut that math paper up into individual flashcards and do one at a time and stack the deck and put the ones that we think the kid will get right first because we want him to taste success. We don't want him to taste fear at first. Otherwise, his brain automatically goes into negative gear. We want kids to exercise. We want kids to do meditation. We want kids to eat proper diets. We want them to have proper nutrition. We want them to take care of their bodies. The body that isn't taken care of is more suspect to stress. So these things are important for kids or adults. We want to replace doubt that kids have with confidence. And the way we do that is a stack, as I said, stack the deck in the direction of success. And the final S in this model is to strategize. Using what you learned about this thing you, you just did, let's think ahead. Let's think about how we're going to conquer the next challenge, which might even be just turning the page in this book. So in a nutshell, that's the de-stress model. Don't forget to share this with anyone you know who could benefit from this video. We share tons of expert vetted resources on parenting and education for differently abled kids. So feel free to sign up for our newsletter using the link in the description below. If you like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, and sign up for our upcoming summit at this link, then we will pin your comment to the top and we will send you our expert curated list of ADHD resources. If you haven't watched our previous series about ADHD and other disorders, click the annotations in the top right hand corner to watch those videos. And if you want to support Smart Course and help make sure we can continue bringing you content, check out our Patreon and membership pages. We also have an online course with even more specific information step-by-step -step guides and access to professionals who can help you through this process. As always, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you for watching and see you soon.